is my favorite. Yes, I've been waiting for that. Betsy Baumgartner loves her job packaging soups at Work Inc. But by January, she will lose her job and only paycheck because of state budget cuts. Betsy represents one of 2,000 individuals with mental disabilities who will be laid off by January. Work Inc.'s program coordinator Jim Cawley says the layoffs are unfair. We think that it's a short-sighted fix for this emergency budget situation that's going to cost the state much more in the long run. Work Inc., a Quincy-based nonprofit, lost $2.1 million in 9C budget cuts and was forced to shut down a program that trains and places men and women with disabilities in jobs. Geraldine Hughes has nowhere to go when her job ends in January. Jim, I'll be very bored. Do you have any plans for... No. I, well, I'm still on the waiting list, but I have a job coach um, now, but she's going to help me get jobs. But I don't know because she has a whole list of people. The CUP programs were designed to teach financial and social independence to those enrolled. But now with cuts, 200 people lost their jobs and their futures are uncertain. A perfect example on how crucial working is to people's identity. If you go out to a party somewhere, right after, hi, how are you, what's your name? What's the next question? What do you do? And our folks can't say anything. But Geraldine is hoping for the best. Hopefully I can come back. I met a lot of good people and stuff, and I learned a lot of skills, yeah.